Yes, you read the title and thumbnail correctly. This is Minecraft for Windows 10, well, and 11 by extension, running on Linux. There are some caveats to this. For one, this is a brand spanking new project. You can't just grab this off a of Flathub or your distro's main repository yet. Which honestly, for most, this should be a non-issue. Secondly, there's no mouse input yet, so you'll have to use a keyboard or a controller to play. And finally, which this may be a good or bad thing depending on who you are, but you can't sign into Microsoft, so you can't play with your friends who are on other platforms or connect the servers. Of course, that also means no marketplace. Anyways, I gotta show you how to set this up now, so let's go. First, this is the GitHub link to the project, which will be linked down in the description and comments. So now, super first, you want to git clone the repository into whatever directory you want it to be in. For most people, this will just be put right into their home directory. Next, you want to cd into wherever you clone the repository. You must type this in before you compile a wine, or else when you try to open the game, it'll just scream at you. Here comes the longest part. Type in make with the amount of logical threads you have, and wait. Now, I can tell you that if you're dual booting, you can just copy the Minecraft for Windows 10 game folder directly from the C slash Xbox games directory. But decrypting the .exe so you can actually play this is bypassing DRM and therefore technically illegal slash piracy, so I can't actually show you how to do it. But once you have that all set up, copy the Minecraft folder into WineGDK and it should look like this. Now simply copy the location of the Minecraft Windows.exe Open a terminal in the WineGDK directory, and then type in this command. Of course, I will have it in the description, because, well, look at it. But it basically just tells Minecraft, please work. Now just press enter, and boom. Minecraft for Windows 10 running on Linux. Now, the really cool thing about this project compared to MCPE Launcher is, well, look. Of course, it runs about as well as you'd expect. It is Minecraft Bedrock Edition ray tracing. It's very unnecessarily heavy. Now, of course, you have the full suite of graphical options at your disposal, such as simple, fancy, and vibrant visuals. And honestly, playing with the keyboard isn't too bad. You can see me trying to build a house here. And there it is. Here's Vibrant Visuals for reference. And then here's Ray Tracing, which... <laughs> this will be Minecraft in 2015, guys. In all seriousness, this is a very cool project, and I want to give a shout out to random username on web on Reddit for helping me not only get this set up and running, but also giving me permission to make a video on this. Anyways, please like and subscribe if you want to see more gaming and tech stuff like this. Check out my new Substack, link in the description. And peace out.